should you consider getting the Bass Baits Monthly Subscription Tackle Box? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're going to open up the, well, this is amazing, January 2022, first time saying that, Bass Baits Monthly Box. Now, if you're new to subscription tackle boxes, Bass Baits Monthly is a monthly subscription box that you pay about $42, $43, including shipping. They don't base the box on overall value. It's with mine. I mean, that's a pretty big red flag. It is not a red flag, Molly. Which is important to me, but it might not be to you. It's like getting tackle every month in the middle of the month, like Christmas. You get Christmas. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Ah! Every month. And if you love fishing and you love fishing tackle, it's a great way to stock your walls. So today we're going to look at this in two ways. We're going to look at it. The fish ability, we're gonna look at it three ways. We're gonna look at the fish ability, we're gonna look at the overall value, because I do think that's very important. And then last, it's gonna be the quality of the products. So without further ado, here we go. Have not looked in it yet. Every month they send us uh, a different knot, the Albright knot right there. If you want, uh, if you get three prepaid months, you get one for free, it looks like. There it is, Bass Bait Monthly, if you want more information. They always send a sticker. That goes in the trash, sorry. Well, first and foremost, they're sending us setting us up with an amazing lure from Berkeley, the Stunna. If you don't know that, it's a suspending twitch bait designed by Hank Cherry. That's a winner. That's a winner. Next, they sent us a Essential Series Spro Carbon Fiber TG. I don't know what TG stands for. It's almost like a a lipless crankbait, but it's uh, one of those smaller, thin ones. So there you go. Next, they sent a Kai Tech 3 8 ounce football jig. From there, they sent a pack of um, net bait Packa Slim 3.5 inch. Good trailer, probably. And that Alabama Fire, they're orange on the back, if you didn't see that. Next, they sent another great product from Z-Man, the TRD Bugs. If you don't know, I call these the Turds Bugs. Just a joke. Next, <laughs> they're haunting me. They sent a pack of Robo Worms. <sighs> and then last but not least, they sent a Santone, uh, looks like it says Got Five Spinnerbait. Now we're going to start it off with value. I have not looked up the value. This this box cost me about $43. And if I look back at what I pay for my Florida Tackle Club, which is sitting right on the side of me, uh, I pay the same amount and get somewhere last month, I think it was like $70 or $80 in value. I don't know what the value is, but we're going to put the $43 here, $42.79 right here, and then over here we'll put the overall value, but I do that in post-production. And that'll tell you kind of exactly where it is. I'm going to go on Tackle Warehouse Prices, but I'm also going to look at this a little bit different. I'm going to try to find it where I can get this box at the least expensive place. Now I know you got to think of shipping, but I'm already paying for shipping. So if I find some place where I'm getting a discount, you're going to see that right here. In terms of fishability, the worms, the stunna, uh, the net baits I'll use as a trailer. Not real. F I I I'll, I keep every spinner bait I own. I don't know why, but I, right now I'm gonna use a spinner bait down here. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna use a spinner bait. Uh, the spro, not really. The trd trd, I'm gonna use, and the kai tech. Not my favorite jig, but not bad. But we're gonna say 
these five products I'm definitely using, including the Robo Worms. I want that to be known. So in terms of fishability, I'm going to say this is probably an eight, eight and a half. Let's just make it, we'll do it normal, an 8375 to be safe. The Russian judge, judge graded it higher. In terms of uh, value, I don't know what the value is. In terms of fishability there, uh, quality of products, I actually think everything in here I know. And that's good. Are they the best of the best? No, they're not saying they're the best, but they're putting in quality products. So in terms of the quality in here, I think I'd probably give it a good 9.675, right in that range. There is good quality in here. I think what the key is going to be is what the overall value is, because the last couple few months, I think probably four out of the last five months, the value has just been above my cost, and that's where my big thing is. And just to be real and to keep it on, just to keep it honest with y'all. This is probably my last month with Fast Fates Monthly just because of the value. I think that I can go out and buy the, the same products but just as good if not better at my local uh, tackle shop and not worry about shipping and probably get the same quality of products if not better and that's important to me right now. I think that you got to remember if you're doing these subscription tackle boxes it's great for the content for the channel but at some point in time you have to look at it as a business side and Am I going to use all this stuff? I can use most of it, but I'd rather use it in different colors. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have Bass Baits Monthly next month. Obviously, you'll find out next month if I have it or if I don't. I want to ask you a question straight out, flat out. I want you to give me the honest answer. What do you think the chances are? So if you want more information, go to BassBaitsMonthly.com. Uh, and uh, hopefully the value is up there. I don't know what it is right now. Hit me with it. Just give it to me straight. I'd say more like one out of a million. Thanks for hitting that subscribe and that like button. Make sure you comment below and tell me what you think. Should I stay with them? Should I leave? Should I go someplace else? So you're telling me there's a chance. I don't know. I mean, it's so hard to go to someplace else when you get the quality and everything that you get in the Florida Tackle Club. And quite honestly, I'm really happy with the, the Major League Fishing Box, too. So I'm gonna, I need to figure it out. Anyway, thanks again. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. We'll see you all soon. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe. Take your own kids fishing. Pfft.